Yo, welcome back to the channel for another video. And today I wanted to talk to you about the power of staying calm and having a strategic mindset to help you navigate life and the challenges that come in our day-to-day -day interactions. So quick question, have you ever found yourself feeling overwhelmed or stressed? like us all, the frustrations and challenges of a modern lifestyle. Maybe you're a student that's juggling work and extra activities that you have outside of school. Even if curriculums don't apply to your current lifestyle, maybe there's just a lot of demands of your job and the needs of your family that's going on in your personal life, which could include the day-to-day -day responsibilities of running a household, paying bills, and staying on top of your health and wellness. So whatever that situation may be, you probably experience moments of anxiety, or uncertainty. And when it's hard to think clearly or make sound decisions in today's fast pace, it's all too easy to become distracted by the constant information and demands of our time and attention. With so many things demanding our attention or time, it's easy to fall into a reactive lifestyle rather than a proactive mode of living. But honestly, I feel like we don't have to live that way. Truthfully, I feel like there is a better way. What if you could approach every challenge with calm and clarity and purpose to achieve greater success in all areas of your life. I believe that if we learn to move with strategy rather than our emotions, we can all agree that we can make better decisions with logic rather than being led by emotion, especially if that emotion is based out of fear. And this message may feel as it fits a one case scenario, but I believe that this can be applied to all different lifestyles. And the truth of this is by cultivating certain habits and practices, we can learn to stay calm and have a strategy in the face of even the most daunting challenges. If we truly learn to prioritize our self-care and seek feedback, we can develop the resilience and clarity of mind when we need to thrive in today's complex world. So if you're ready to take your life to the next level, if you're ready to embrace a new way of thinking and living, then follow along for this. I have a new video for you today and that's what we're gonna dive in and I'm excited to take you along this journey. So with that being said, let's start learning how we can apply these principles in your life starting today. So let's look at some of the benefits of staying calm. So we all can agree that there's a certain level amount of stress that we have in our lives. And it is common to experience that in the modern world. We're constantly juggling multiple tasks and responsibilities. And there's just so much just begging for our attention, being overloaded with social media, work responsibilities, emails that's piling up. And that's just on an everyday situation when you're just going through your life without any expectations of these challenges facing you right off the bat. However, when we're able to stay calm and centered, we can manage stress more effectively and think more clearly. If I could use this example as if you were a college student preparing for finals, uh, you have multiple exams coming up and you're feeling anxious and overwhelmed by the amount of materials you have to study. And we all know when you feel that stress and anxiety start to build up, in those moments you feel procrastination starting to take over and hinder you from moving forward with preparing yourself properly to pass that exam. However, a better approach of handling those situations is to take a step back, find something that calms your nervous systems. And this is why we don't wanna be led by our emotions. Take the time to maybe do some breath work, some deep breathing, meditation, something that calms your mental state of mind, maybe being out in nature, to allow you to get grounded in the reality of the situation instead of allowing yourself to live in this mental space and having fears of the unknown, which hasn't even manifested itself in reality yet. In a lot of cases, we let the stress of the potential idea of something taking place hinder us and a better word instead of hinder is to immobilize us where we don't move at all until we let the worst case of that scenario come into our reality. And so with that perspective, you can easily analyze and see that our biggest fear is the mindset of what we envision that could happen, but in reality, it hasn't happened. So that's why it's so important to take effective practices and grounding yourself, coming back into the reality, into your present moment, and being focused and well prepared to handle those tasks so you can get out of that mindset where you're being led by your emotions based out of a fear. This also applies to the workplace, whether you're dealing with a day-to-day -day job related to outdoor sales, knocking on doors, or maybe you're in a field where it's a lot of math-related problem solving. 
When we learn to calm ourselves in stressful situations, difficult situations, we can be at more ease in a professional manner and have better solutions that not only help ourselves, but help the team as well. For instance, if you're dealing with a difficult colleague or a client, it's easy to get emotional and reactive to statements that maybe they spoke out of turn, maybe they spoke out of character, or, you know, just, we all been there where situations just go left just due to poor communication or improper communication at that moment in time. But however, if you're able to remain calm and approach the situation with a level head, then you can learn how to diffuse the tensions and offer valuable information that diffuses this situation and they'll look at you as a person who learns how to offer solutions to these problems and make a better work environment or let's say it's not even work related it could just be family related peer-to-peer -peer related it applies in a lot of different aspects of our life and this is why these tips today are so valuable to be applied today for me, the second part of this message, which goes hand in hand with the benefits of staying calm, is the power of having a strategy. To me personally, when you have a calm mindset, you can think more strategically and be able to problem solve or think in a more analytical way to see the actual solutions to situations where most people may overlook that because they could be in an environment, a mental environment, where they're being led by their emotions. So in today's fast paced world, it's easy to get pulled in different directions and lose sight of our long-term goals. However, if we have a clear plan in place, we can stay on track and make better decisions. So let's say you're trying to save money for a down payment on a house. If you don't have a clear plan, how can you achieve your goal? You might find yourself spending money more impulsively on temporary items that just give you momentarily satisfaction. Nothing's worse than waking up one day realizing that you let yourself get sidetracked and it took you away from your financial goals that you set out maybe at the beginning of the year, middle of the year, or the end of the year. It's so important to keep our goals in front of us so we have direction and where we're headed so we can actually hit that target. If you take the time to create a budget that specifically sets savings and goals and you track your progress, you'll be more likely to achieve that objective. And so this is more in a simpler concept when we're looking at strategy, but if we can learn how to apply strategies in one areas of our life, then of course we'll be able to take that formula or concept and be able to apply it in different areas of life as well. So now that we've talked about the benefits of staying calm and then the reasons why we need to have a strategy once we enter that mindset of calmness, let's talk about how applying these principles in your life can also aid you in assistance as well. So we can put these principles into practice in our daily lives and here's a few more tips that I wanted to share with you. These aren't in any particular order. If you wanted to rank them on how they resonated with you from top to bottom, that's perfectly fine. I'm just going to go ahead and share these with you. And what I was writing down in my own personal time is we all need to look at practicing mindfulness. And mindfulness is a powerful tool for staying calm and centered in the midst of a busy day. By taking a few minutes each day to focus on your breathing and observing your thoughts and feelings, you know, it'll bring you back to your present moment and give you a true perspective like of where you are currently in life instead of being led by those limiting beliefs. We all should prioritize our self-care. Taking care of yourself is just essential in all aspects of life, helping you staying focused and effective. It allows you to make time for the activities that help you relax and recharge yourself. You're not over giving and over sharing your energy. I always say if you're going to share that energy, spend it with your loved ones, spend it with someone who also pours back into your cup. If you're not familiar with that analogy, it just means if you're pouring into somebody, they should be able to pour back into you. Reciprocate that energy because it is vital so you don't become one who is being drained in that relationship or dynamic of a friendship that you have. It's also important in times that we seek feedback. It's, it's really important to have open feedback from others so we can be willing to adjust our approach if there's something that we're doing. I believe that is necessary so we can get a better perspective of our Ourselves. We all know we cannot view ourselves in the third person perspective. It is vital that we get that information from our peers because they see things in us that we may not be able to recognize at this moment. With this type of feedback, you can improve your skills, learn from your mistakes, and achieve better results. I also put embracing failure on this list. It's so important to embrace failure. I believe that failure is the currency you have to pay on your way to success. 
It's a natural part of the learning process, and you don't need to let the fear of failure hold you back from taking risks or pursuing your goals. Everyone we aspire to be like, or we look up, or, or we're just motivated by these individuals have some story of failure had a huge impact on their lives, and so if they've gone through that process of learning how to take the hits of life and overcoming that, then also we should be an acceptance of that as well. We should look at failures as an approach to each challenge as an opportunity to learn and grow from and not to be afraid and experiment with new things. That's the only way you're going to continue to evolve as an individual and learn more about yourself and what you're capable of achieving. The failures that you incur will not only develop you, but shape your character and how to handle life and share that story with other people as well. So to summarize everything, staying calm and strategic can help us navigate the challenges of a modern life with a greater ease and effectiveness. By practicing mindfulness and prioritizing our self-care, seeking feedback and embracing failure, we can develop the resilience and clarity of our mind that we need to achieve our goals and live fulfilling lives. So like I said, this can apply to anybody and I hope that you receive this wholeheartedly. Whether you're a student, professional, or simply trying to manage our day-to-day -day responsibilities, these principles can help us stay focused, productive, and engaged with the world around us. I wanna say I appreciate you for making it to this part of the video because there was just a lot of information and value that was invested into today's talking point. If you liked what you heard today, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. So let's get to it.